Hello children, welcome to your science class. I hope you have given your first online periodic test very well. Today we are going to restart chapter 5 of your NCERT science textbook that is acids, bases and salts. During this revision period, let us recall all the concepts we have learnt and this time we will try to do certain activities also along with the revision. So now we are learning about acids, bases and salts. Let us get into the chapter. Before getting deep into the concepts, let us start from certain basics. What are these acids, salts and bases? How do we find them? Out of all the human body senses, which sense helped us to find out, find about these acids, bases and salts? <coughs> yes, it is the sense of taste. What are the most common and different types of tastes we feel? They are sweet, sour, salty, bitter and umami. Uma, umami means the taste of all the other four tastes together. That means sweet, sour, salty, bitter together is called umami. Here you can see in the image where the particular taste buds for each taste are present on human tongue. So children, here is a small activity for you. Uh, see here I have considered four items and have drawn a table for it. Similarly, you also take any four items and draw a table like this and try to draw them as it is as you see them in front of you and draw them in your notebook in that table and write whether it is edible or not or which food item it is like fruit, vegetable, it is a cooked one or not. Uh, etc like what food it is you will write it and then you will write what is the taste of that item what, how did you feel after tasting it like did you feel it is sweet or sour or salty or bitter the taste of that food item you will mention in front of that okay and uh, this is somewhat an interesting activity children so try to uh, form a table of any four items and draw them as you see just in front of you means the same item you just draw need not you need not to be so artistic but try to draw the image which you are seeing right in front of you as it is and then write which type of food item it is and then write what kind of taste have you felt after tasting it so in the next slide here uh, is a table shown which you have to draw in your notebook and list all these items shown here. Uh, you have to taste them and mention which taste you have felt upon tasting them. It is the same activity which is given in your textbook so you have to do this and uh, try out these different food items. You will really discover which kind of taste of food is your favorite one. Okay, children? Now we are moving into the main concepts of our chapter. They are acids and bases. What is an acid? What is actually a base? I know you have already learned about these but let's once again recall uh, their definitions and their properties. So what is an acid? Acid is a substance which usually when mixed in a neutral solution like water gives out 
H plus or hydrogen ions. So it is the definition and meaning of an acid. Acid means it is a substance which usually when mixed in a neutral solution like water gives out H plus or hydrogen ions. So most of the scientific words are extracted from Latin language. Similarly, the word acid is derived from Latin word acere, that which means sore. That's why now you might have understood why we were discussing about different types of tastes. Now let's understand the properties of an acid. Like we learned in the definition, acid is sore in taste. Acids can cause burning sensation or corrosiveness. It, the acid turns the blue litmus to red. And acids when combined with bases usually uh, lose or reduce their acidic nature. So these are the properties of acids. Here is a picture giving us examples of different acids we see or we face in our everyday life. So these are the sources of certain acids which we regularly use in our daily, uh, daily life. Uh, for example, consider lemon which has citric acid. The tomatoes have oxalic acid and uh, the grapes have tartaric acid. The milk has lactic acid. The ant bite releases formic acid. The apple has malic acid and the vinegar, ha vinegar has acetic acids. So these are usually the naturally occurring substances and the acids present in them are just mentioned. Just now we have read out the acids which are particularly present in that substance. So these are the examples. So from these examples you can understand that every item has some kind of substance in it. Either it could be an acid or it could be a base or it can be a neutral solution. Let us proceed. Yes. Now coming to base. What is a base? Base is a substance when mixed in a neutral solution like water gives out OH- ions. So children let me show the picture just we have seen before starting the acids. So here you see this picture. I haven't explained this but now you can understand this. Here in this image, we have shown OH- ions for base and H- for acid. To picturize the definition here, that means when acid mixed with, means a solution that releases, a, a substance that releases H- ions in water is acidic solution and a substance or a solution that releases OH- ions is a basic one. So the definition of base is uh, it is a substance when mixed in a neutral solution like water gives out OH- ions. The properties of base are on touching a basic solution we feel something slippery. So bases are usually slippery in nature. A uh, base changes red litmus to blue. Bases become less basic in nature, also called alkaline or less alkaline in nature when they are combined with acids. So these are the properties of bases. Certain examples of bases that we see in our everyday life are different salts, baking soda that we use during baking and cooking, the bleaching powder usually used to clean the floor and toilets etc. So these are the examples of bases that we see in our everyday life. So children, 
here is the ph meter shown ph means potential of hydrogen it means it describes the concentration of hydrogen ions present in a present in a solution the ph scale measures from 0 to 14 on the ph scale any solution that reads in between 0 to 7 is acidic in nature and any solution that reads in between 7 to 14 is basic solution and uh, basic in nature and ph 7 indicates neutral solution or neutral in nature that means it is the solution or substance that is neither acidic nor basic so, example of solutions that read on pH 7 on the scale is water. Here you can see. The water we drink is a neutral solution. It is neither acidic nor basic. In the picture, you can see that on 0, there is hydrochloric acid. That means it is highly acidic in nature. The hydrochloric acid is highly acidic in nature in our everyday life it is used in batteries or cells we use in remote controls so rem remember to handle them properly and on the sca scale on 7 as i just mentioned you can see water which means it is neutral at 14 on the scale you can see drain cleaner just now we have discussed the examples of bases like bleaching powder which is usually highly basic in nature and there are other substances also mentioned on the scale which are indicating their ph value and their nature like whether they are acidic in nature or basic in nature and uh, so uh, next here is a table for you to know various types of acids and bases that are found in the substances we see in our day-to-day -day life so let us discuss this table uh, just now we, in the examples of acid you have seen certain examples of these so vinegar has acetic acid and cysting means when the ant bites no it releases formic acid very slight in very slight proportions but it releases formic acid citrus fruits such as oranges lemons etc has citric acid they have the vitamin c in them which is very important and in cases like this taking vitamins is very very important children citric acid helps bodies to improve its immunity okay so do take uh, vitamin c that means citrus fruits along with your food every day the curd has the lactic acid so the curd is somewhat extraction from milk yes so it has the lactic acid and spinach has the oxalic acid like tomatoes and uh, the Amla and other citrus fruits have the ascorbic acid, which is also vitamin C. And tamarind, grapes, unripe mangoes, etc. have the tartaric acid. So these are the naturally occurring substances that we feed or we, which are edible, which we eat. And the different types of acids that are present in these each type of substances. And coming to basis. The lime water, the lemon water is usually basic in nature and it has uh, calcium hydroxide. The window cleaner, the disinfectant we use usually has ammonium hydroxide. The soap is usually also basic. It has sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and the soaps we use have the carbonates which are basic in nature. The milk of magnesia has magnesium hydroxide which is also base. So these are certain examples of acids and bases which can uh, which are very useful for you to remember uh, which can be in detail you can understand in your future classes. 
Remember children, all substances in the world are either acid, base or can be neutral. But one thing you have to remember is we should not taste any substance to find their nature. Like to find whether they are acidic or basic. So there are, there are as many substances which are very useful for the body. And there are also so many substances which can also harm us. So to identify their nature, you should not taste them. So just if I say we cannot taste and find out their acidic or basic nature, then how do we find their nature? We find their nature using an indicator. There are certain indicators or you can say pH indicators. So let us see what they are. An indicator is a substance that is used to test whether a solution or substance is basic or acidic in nature. These indicators usually change their color to express whether the substance is acidic or basic in nature during experimentation. Some naturally occurring indicators are turmeric, litmus paper, china rose petals etc so here are the pictures of the examples just we discussed the examples of indicators are the turmeric litmus paper and the china rose petals that means the china rose means the hibiscus flower here in india we usually mention this as hibiscus flower so these are the naturally occurring indicators To test whether the solution of the substance is uh, either acidic, basic or neutral. And in the next class, we will see in detail certain activities and experiments. How these indicators are used to identify the nature of the solutions or the substances. Thank you children.